Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, let's see solved problem number two in ER model. Let's see the problem now. The question is, in an entity relationship ER model, suppose R is a many to one relationship from entity set E1 to entity set E2. Assume that E1 and E2 participate totally in the relationship R and that the cardinality of E1 is greater than the cardinality of E2. Which one of the following is true about R? This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2018. Let's see the options. Option A. Every entity in E1 is associated with exactly one entity in E2. Option B. Some entity in E1 is associated with more than one entity in E2. Option C. Every entity in E2 is associated with exactly one entity in E1. Option D. Every entity in E2 is associated with at most one entity in E1. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. Before solving this problem, we need to understand what are the key information that are mentioned in the question. So let me project only the question. Here is the question. What are the key information that we find in the question? The entity relationship model, that is the ER model. So we have the entities and the relationship. R is a many to one relationship. So the key information here is R is the relationship which holds many to one relationship from entity set E1 to entity set E2, which means E1 is one entity set, E2 is another entity set, and R is the relationship. And if you observe here, this R is actually holding many to one relationship. So this E1 is having many to one relationship R with the entity set E2. Remember, E1 and E2 are entity set. And what about the other key information? We are assuming that E1 and E2 participate totally in R. So E1 is also participating totally in the relationship R. E2 is also participating totally in the relationship R. And that's why we use double lines. Double lines with the relationship meaning total participation. We know there are two types of participation. One is the total participation. The other one is the partial participation. In this case, every entity set of E1 and every entity set of E2 is participating in this relationship R. And one more key information is that the cardinality of E1 is greater than the cardinality of E2. I'll bring another diagram. Here it is. The cardinality of E1 is greater than the cardinality of E2. Also, if you see, we have established many to one relationship. Here, E1 contains A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, where A1 to A5 are the instances or the entities and these set of entities are in the entity set E1. Similarly, B1, B2, B3 are the instances or the entities in the entity set E2. They are participating with the relationship R and the important condition is it's a many to one relationship. Can you see here? It's a many to one relationship. All entities are participating in E1. Similarly, all entities in E2 are participating in the relationship R. And that is why it's a total participation. So you can see the lines are there for every entity. This is done. Let's confirm whether it is a many to one relationship. Yes. Can you see here? This is exactly many to one relationship. If you still need clarity, I would request you to watch my previous lecture to gain better understanding about mapping cardinalities. Here the mapping cardinality is many to one and that is why E1 and E2 are related like this. And if you observe, the cardinality of E1 is greater than the cardinality of E2. We need to understand one thing here. In general, when we talk about cardinality of a relation or cardinality of a table, we say it is the number of columns in the table or the number of attributes in a relation. But here, this E1 and E2 are not table or relation. They are entity set. And that's what is given in the question. E1 is an entity set. Similarly, E2 is also an entity set. So here, the cardinality of entity set E1 is greater than the cardinality of entity set E2. It means the number of elements or the number of instances in E1 is greater than the number of elements or instances in E2. 
That is why I've used 5 here and 3 here. 5 is definitely greater than 3. So, the cardinality of entity set E1 is greater than the cardinality of entity set E2. One more key information. The cardinality of an entity set in a relationship means the maximum of a relations in which an entity of a given entity type can participate. In this case, E1 can participate with E2 exactly once. But E2 can participate with E1 more than once to be precise N because N is the maximum number we have taken here because of many to one relationship. So with this knowledge, let's step into the options. What's the first option? The first option is every entity in E1 is associated with exactly one entity in E2. Because the question is, we need to find which of the following is true about the relationship R. So, let's focus on option A. Every entity in E1 is associated with exactly one entity in E2. Let me bring in the diagram. Yes, every entity in E1 is exactly associated with one entity in E2. So, A1 is associated with B1. A2 is associated with B1. Remember, Every entity in E1 is exactly associated with one entity in E2. So A1, B1, A2, B1, A3, B2, like this. It's not like A1 is associated with B1 as well as B2. So it's exactly every entity in E1 is associated with exactly one entity in E2. So option A seems to be true. Let's see the other options. Option B. Some entity in E1 is associated with more than one entity in A2. So definitely not. It's not more than one entity with B2. Exactly one entity. So option B is incorrect. Let's come to option C. Every entity in E2 is associated with exactly one entity in E1. This is incorrect because B is associated with more than one entity with A1. So every entity in E2 is not exactly associated with one entity in E1. More than one entity in E1. So option C is incorrect. Coming to option D, every entity in E2 is associated with at most one entity in E1. This is also incorrect. The reason is E2 is not having the relationship with E1 with the at most relationship as 1. It is at the at most relationship as N. Right? So obviously, option D is also incorrect. So the right answer for this question is option A. Every entity in E1 is associated with exactly one entity in E2. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.